Hey guys, Dave and Kevin here at BonerPlan.com and on today's show we're continuing on with the 10 point series, the Vapor RS 470. Alright guys, here we are, the Vapor RS 470 10 points, big dog. This thing is no joke. Um, actually, second one we've had this year, which is kind of funny. But uh, this bow is literally amazing. And I'm really excited today to show this to you guys and also show you how to use it, how to cock it. Um, it's very easy to use. You can see it looks tiny. Um, reverse limbs, obviously. And you know, one of the things about this bow um, that is pretty amazing is the sheer size of it. Um, it's around eight pounds uh, with weight without the accessories, but Again, you know, 10 Point has just done such a great job in shaping and molding the look of their new bows this year. It's been really incredible. Yeah, it's a ultra narrow bow. I mean, when this thing's cocked, it's only what, six and a half inches? And uh, that's pretty incredible. Yeah, 12 inches why it's not cocked, uh, uncocked. And uh, it's like Kevin said, six and a half when it's fully cocked. So let's roll through the specs real quick, just so we get that out of the way. 31 inches uh, in length. So it's very compact, again, super small compared to some of the other models out there, other brands and their brands as well when it comes to size. Again, axle to axle, 12 inches uncocked, 6.5 inches cocked, uh, 17 inch power stroke, uh, eight pounds, 400, up to 470 feet per second. Now they're basing this on a um, Pro Light Carbon Arrow 370 grains. Uh, they're then saying 460 feet per second at a Pro Elite 400 Carbon Arrow at 400 grains and then they are claiming 440 feet per second with an Evo X center punch carbon arrow 445 grains. So it uh, just depends on which arrow you're shooting, you're gonna get some speeds on it that are different, obviously. Today we're gonna shoot it with, uh, I think, two different arrows, center punch Evo light and knock arrow. We'll also shoot it with the standard uh, center punch they gave us uh, as well. Both premium arrows, one's a light and knock, one's not. Uh, again, draw style is reverse draw. So that what that means is your limbs are opposite. So if you look at any other models on their website, you'll see the limbs are flip-flop. The, they're this way. Um, so that gives you a little more power. And again, the compactness, you can bring everything into you by doing it this way, which is pretty cool. Uh, and again, it's got the AccuSlide. So that's something new that 10 point has been pushing. It's gonna take the mechanism and slide down, grab the string, and then you're gonna cock it, it's gonna come back. The advantage to this right now is in the cocking system, it allows you to do a lot of different things. Number one, it's gonna have a break. So you can stop halfway, you can go backwards, forward, however you wanna go, you can do what you wanna do. It also has a pin uh, in here. So this is the cocking aid, um, slides out, so it makes it longer. And uh, for those of you who watched the S440 video we just finished, that this is the same one. Um, it also has this pin that comes out that when it is cocked, let's say you wanna decock at the end of the night and you don't wanna fire it. So you decock it, right? And now you're still latched here. So there's a little pinhole right here, just above the foregrip. And you can see a little slot for it. It's not like a normal looking hole, so it's just a slot. You slide this through and what that does is it comes through the rail and it's gonna undo the mechanism to allow you to bring the uh, AccuSlide back. So that's pretty cool. You don't see that much at all, actually. Yeah. So very cool. So this bow will go between uh, $2,950 in, in graphite, and with the veil camo, it goes up to $3,050. So it's definitely not a cheap bow, but this is at the top of the line premium bows, right? If you're looking for a crossbow and you wanna spend some change, this is definitely should be on your hit list this year, and you definitely need to check it out. There's no doubt about that. So the new AccuSlide system allows for silent cocking and decocking. Um, so that's definitely something you're gonna wanna have in the field. And it says it's also a very safe way of doing it because therefore you don't have to fire it every time and do different things. And again, having it quiet when it's coming back and forth is really important, especially when you're sitting in a blind. Yeah. And it says, what, only field. five pounds of cocking effort too. And that's a huge deal. Yeah, it's Yeah, because you're not feeling anything of what's really there. Now, for those who've been watching the show know that I did cock a crossbow back in November, hurt my back, and I was out for literally almost 
almost a year. I don't know if that was the November before, but it literally, so I, I personally don't like cocking crossbows without um, an auto cocking system personally anymore. So I, I won't do it because that's how I ended up throwing out my back and hurt yep. myself. Uh, Evo Marksman Scope. This is the premier crossbow scope on the market that features variable speed design and fully multi-coated optics. Uh, provide unmatched brightness in low light situations. So this is their top dog for scopes. And the other scope was great on the S440. So this is great that they even have another one that's even better. I can't believe yeah. it. The other thing that I like about it too is you can uh, you can focus it in for your eyes. Yeah, oh, that's great. Oh, is that you twisted your twist earlier? Yeah, playing yeah I got it focused in for my eyes. So, um, you know, it really is crystal clear. And uh, so the other thing they talk about is the reverse draw advantage. So we'll talk about that. This is right from their website. It says, industry leading 17 inch power stroke generates more speed with less draw weight. It's elongated power stroke also increases the distance the arrow knock is engaged with the string. A critical component in performance is the, is the longer the knock remains engaged with the string, the more accurate the crossbow will be upon impact. So obviously the string's gonna go from all the way back here all the way forward to the very end where it hits the stops, the string stops, um, and gives you a lot of power. <laughs> uh, Myco Track Barrel, this is a new barrel, and basically they skimmed it down. They took out a lot of metal from it, uh, less friction, uh, less chance for the arrows that is touching things, and that's gonna give you a little more speed, a little more power. Um, I'm actually very happy with that. You've seen some other brands that have different types of designs on their barrels right. that allow less friction, so that's why this is great for me. It shows me 10 points looking at the industry, finding their own way, their path to make the same concepts, right? Yeah. And that's gonna be definitely helpful. Uh, the new S1 Trigger, two-stage zero creep design with a roller sear system um, that sets a new standard high performance crossbow accuracy. So if you don't know, a roller sear is basically a roller system. There's no like bar that's gonna come down or hook that's you know coming off the string. This is literally a roller ball type system and it's gonna roll right off of it. So very smooth. We ju I just shot that in the S440 and it was a very nice trigger. Very nice trigger system. Uh, the new Tech X stock uh, dramatically minimizes stock size, reducing the weight of uh, the crossbow by a half pound. So again, you see the huge cutouts on the stock. This one in particular is so small that it's it's already an advantage in my opinion. You know, you still have the safety features, right, Kevin? We got the anti-dry fire, yep. finger protection. Nice, nice grip. So it says up to 191 foot-pounds of kinetic energy, 6.5 inch axle to axle, again, you know, around $3,000. And everything we're seeing so far, there's some reviews on the 10 point page, five stars out of five, which is great. Um, again, I think a lot of people are looking for a small bow, you know, and this is a package, by the way, I, I, I wanna be clear on that. Came with the scope, came with the quiver, came with a really nice sling, came with a stag hard shell case. <laughs> that is really nice, in fact, this well, is- protect your investment. So, you know, they're helping you. They're giving you the accessories you go out and buy anyway. A lot of times people don't realize how much they end up spending on anything. Golf, right. don't matter what it is. Right. You buy what you really want, and then you're like, mm, it's like an iPad, right? I'm like, oh, we need to get a new iPad, do some stuff around here. Well, it's like, well, we need the pen. Then we need the keyboard, right? It just keeps adding to it. So right. in right. this way, they just give it all to you. You're done, ready to go. You don't have to think twice about the final number. Comes with all these arrows, guys. I mean, this is literally insane. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. So, six standard uh, center punch Evos, premium carbon crossbow arrows. So that's these ones with the red, okay? So these are the standard ones, right? Then they give you on top of that, center punch premium carbon crossbow arrow Evos, lighted um, premium arrows. So these have the lighted knocks, I put them in already. And as you can see, it's beautiful. This is something that's so critical for hunters. And uh, if this is legal in your state, which I think almost all states are now legal with lay knocks, I'm not positive on all, but a lot of them, this is one of the best things I've ever done in my hunting career is have a lay to knock. So th to, the ability to have that um, with these come with it like that for you is just so incredible and extremely helpful. It takes all, these are expensive. Like if you were to buy these, a lot of money, like a lot of money to get a lighted knock, especially specifically to crossbow, crossbow bolts. So um, again, 12 arrows, that's really incredible. A full dozen arrows with this system. They also give you center punch uh, premium broadheads, which look incredible. Uh, these are a mechanical style and um, hunter grain. So 
I've never shot them. I can't say a ton about them just yet, but they look to me like a very good system. And uh, they probably do some major devastation, that's for sure. Built in America at 10 Points Factory. Um, again, you know. What was that? Built in America. Built in America. This America. This is American, 100% American bow. But one of the cool things I saw on the S440 video, and I forgot to really talk about it too much though, um, is this sheet. It says, welcome to the family, the 10 point crossbow family. But a couple things on here. Number one, it tells you a lot of important information. Number two, it says inspected by, packaged by, and it has someone's actual initials on here. So that just tells you how serious they are about the production, the quality, um, how important it is to them that the product goes out the door, ready to go, that yeah. someone's inspected it. You know you know what I'm saying? Like these are important things when you're spending this kind of money. There's also even a data scan code. If you don't, if you lose the manual, you can always get it back and just put it on your phone yeah. um, if you ever want to do it. But this is a great company, guys. They've done a lot of great stuff in this industry. And a lot of this tech you've seen is, you know, from things they figured out over the years, you know. Cool. All right, guys, let's talk about how you're going to cock the new RS470. Um, so a couple important things I just want to point out just to make sure um, Just make sure you're in fire. That's number one. Okay, because when it's going down It's gonna grab the string. It's got to be in fire to grab it and turn to safety if you had it in uh, Safety and it goes down you're only gonna get to the anti-drive fire and that will mess you up later when you get back here Okay, so that's really important um, And you can see it right here if you look at what you're if you look at this system You want to be back in here. Okay, because your anti-drive fire your arrow has to push this up Okay, if you're if you're if you're on that, your arrow can't push it up, right? So it has to be in the, the mechanism, which is back here. So you want to make sure that your arrow can push this piece up. If it cannot, do not keep cocking. Okay, that's really important. All right, so when we get down here, we're gonna want to click it all the way till it goes to safety. Now we know we're in. So let me show you guys. So I've got it all the way forward. It went. It clicked to safety, so I know I'm in the right spot now. So we're gonna go ahead and start cranking it back. So as you notice, there's no sound. Hit stop and go backwards, forward, backwards, whatever I want. All right, so we're gonna go to, we hear the click. Okay, what that click was, was the mechanism locking into the system up here. So now you take this off, okay? And you can go ahead and push it down. It goes up like this, comes across, and locks right in. Okay, let's take a look. All right, I can see that I'm on the main receiver. My anti-drive fire, it's hard for you guys to see because it's so small. But let me show you with an arrow. I guess first, take a look at that. That's pretty amazing. Look how narrow it is. That is really something to see, guys. Very cool. All right, so the bolt goes in, wipe down. Okay, it pushed up the anti-drive fire. Let's put these on. It's a safe zone. Put the fire. Woo. <laughs> wow. All right, guys, that's it. The Vapor RS470 from 10 Point. Uh, probably the most expensive bow we've done a review on this year, at least. Yeah. But. Fastest <laughs> bow I've ever shot. Yeah, this bow is almond. If you're a speed um, freak. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, we really like this bow. Like, this bow is amazing. I wish everybody could afford it. I know that's not the case, but if you walked into a store and were able to get this bow for a lot cheaper, you would buy it in a heartbeat because it is so nice. Um, so if you can afford it, absolutely recommend checking this out. At least go to your shop and shoot it. You're going to love this bow. So yeah. tiny. Yeah, and powerful. Powerful, tiny. It's got a great scope on it. Um, the cocking system, AccuSlide, is awesome. It's really easy to use. That trigger, um, that trigger is smooth. Very smooth trigger. <laughs> this is definitely the premier bow this year, in my opinion. This thing is really got a lot going for it just a great feel great bow awesome performance i mean literally hands down fastest bow i think i've ever shot in my yeah. life i like the fact that too when you 
pack it, it goes into safety. Yes, yeah, yep. Not even even before you pack it. Actually, yeah. once the anchor slide touches the string, that's another way to know that you are you have it all the way grabbed correctly. If it turns into safety, if it's still yeah. on fire and you're coming up, you have to go back down. But it's easy to make that fix right there. So that's what I was telling him. Yeah. You get halfway, he started going halfway with it in fire. That's how you know, just bring it back down and you'll be fine, you know. Yeah. Anyhow, 10pointcrossbows.com, bowhunterplant.com. We'll see you guys next time. If you're new around here, make sure you sub because you're gonna miss out on some great giveaways we're gonna end up doing coming up. So if you're a follower, subscriber on our Facebook and YouTube, you stand to earn a lot more great things. So we'll see you guys around. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great night.